Hello and welcome back to my channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl, Empress Jim, dropping those jewels for the sign of Leo. This will be your energy healing reading for the week of March 29th to April 4th, 2020. These messages may not resonate, so take what's for you. I do curse and you may hear loud noises in the background because I have small children. So if either of those bother you, please click off now. So with further ado, let's get started. Okay, Leo, so this is what we got. I see that you are in your head right now. You're having a sort of a mental conflict here and kind of mentally deciding on what to do about possibly a new emotional offer within your life. I feel that it really has to do with an emotional loss you've already taken from like letting someone else go. A part of me wants to feel like this person may be trying to put a guilt trip on you, which is messing with you mentally, but we'll see as we get into the read. So first message out for you guys is you think someone is lying, don't forget it. In other words, if you think somebody lying, they probably are. And more than likely, you know that this person lies and they are good for lying. So in the middle of your read, oh, let me get you some signs cards out here. I have Aries. That's pretty much it. I have Aries out here showing up. And then I have you showing up underneath your clarification deck here. So, Leo, you have in the center of your read, Ace of Cups, love begins, okay? I feel that you are having this mental conflict because you are starting something new. And like I said, someone is guilt tripping you. They're probably telling you all type of lies and, oh, this person is this, this person is that. But don't believe them. Yeah, don't believe them. I feel that the new love opportunity that you're going towards is something that's very staple and nurturing to you. It, um, it will definitely help you in any material financial success that you're trying to gain. I feel that it is a solid offer that is really coming from the heart. It won't play with you. It's not emotionally all over the place. I feel that it is a really stable, loving type of situation that you know that you want within yourself and know that you need to move towards, you know, despite this emotional loss that you are feeling. I feel that you know that you need to move towards this so that you can bring material and spiritual prosperity within your life, also known as the six of this or pinnacles or balance. Yeah, you want to end the burdens and cut away at whatever is mentally trying to interfere with you moving forward with your passions and your material success here. I see you firmly trying to block off any illusions by definitely going within and closing yourself out. I can see where there was a toxic or very low vibing situation that is uh, causing like a great amount of stress in you, like a great amount of stress. I feel that you need to walk away. Look at that. That is triple confirmation on the same card. I have huge emphasis on... The fact that the universe is telling you, you need to walk away from this stress. Like, you are suffering in silence here. And it's time for you to emotionally detach and remove yourself from this. You need to go fast as fuck and gain control of your life again here, Leo. Okay? Get out of this stress and this anxiety. These sleepless nights that somebody's trying to impose on you. I feel that you've been trying to move forward. Trying to keep your guard up and move forward as quickly as possible as you can towards your new opportunity. But again, you are suffering with this mental conflict that's coming into your life. Like somebody is literally putting heartbreak and worry upon you that you do not need. You need to let this go. This is in a, a lack of emotional situation. They're only doing this probably because they're bored or they don't want to see you succeed. So you need to see the clarity and what's going on here again changing your fate with the will of fortune and emperor grabbing back control of your life you moving towards where your passion has been ignited to together that's eight and one wand that's nine wands you have your guard up you're defensive you're protecting what it is your passion is ignited towards something that is very stable and solid with your ace of cups here and your ace of wands here both have clarifying the couples here i have queen of pentacles with the knight of cups which is also like the king of cups in this Thoth deck. I have both of those sitting on the Ace of Pentacles. Now on your Ace of Wands, I mean, yeah, sorry, your Ace of Cups. Now on your Ace of Wands, you have your Knight or your King of Pentacles, which are Queen of Cups, okay? You are grounded when it comes to this love and they want to extend to you. And they are all about that action. They think and they take their time with the action and they want to come in and offer you love with this Princess of Cups in between the knight of pentacles and the queen of cups they want to come in and offer you love 
you've ignited this this passion this new spark this start and this love this past person is really trying they probably could be lying to you about this new person in your life and saying oh yeah i know oh you messing with tony oh i know tony yeah you know he still mess with brenda down the street don't listen to them they're lying they're causing this conflict because they're hurt and they don't want to see you succeed here okay this person is coming in they want to work with you they are here to bring solid foundations and they are here to offer you love and not no love that's going to be messing with you in your mind okay they are here to work with you right now currently leo you're sitting in a very patient you know position trying to work on and plan you know for your future you see clearly here that working with this new person that's coming in you know may actually bring you your ten of pentacles but i feel that you are dealing with some outside conflicts that is interfering with your ability to be independent and move on from the codependent co situation of this person of the past. It's time to turn your back here on this past situation and follow your intuition. Everybody sees that it's over. Whatever it was that was of the past, they see that it's over and that you're on to a whole new world and going on to new, bigger, and better things in your life, okay? Ooh, look at that. Yes, you turned your back on, like I said, you turned your back on the past. Everybody sees that you turned your back on the past. You knew that there was nothing but illusion and lies and confusion dealing with this situation. You knew it was interfering. And it was, as a matter of fact, you knew it was a toxic, low-vibing interference, that was interfering with your ability to have this ace of cups that you were striving for, this balance, your wishes fulfilled. You know what this past person was doing or this past thing was doing. You know what's holding you back. You know, I'll, I, I talk and I say, you know, relationships and people, but it may not be a person. It could be a place. It could be a thing. It could be an object. It could be family. It could be friends. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. You know your life and your situation, so place it how it needs to be placed. Yeah, I feel that you fear any type of sacrifice or you're worried that things are going to be stuck in the same energy that it's in. But I feel that a sacrifice may be needed and a sacrifice may be coming because, I, like I said, you know, especially with your outcome card being authority, also known as the emperor or Aries type energy. Before I even get there and clarify that, you have sacrifice, which is also hangman energy. I feel in your hopes and fears that you are hoping to come out of this energy and be able to sacrifice it and let it go. I see here a, a transformation that brings balance finally to this Ace of Cups opportunity that you're going to. You know, you get out of the suspension. You really do put an end to the things of the past. I think putting an end to the, to the conflicts and, you know, whatever little piece of emotional tie that's still there with the past, I feel that once you let that go, transform that situation, you will bring balance and abundance to this new Ace of Cups that is presenting itself to you. You really just need to have the strength here to block it. Have the strength to stay, I feel, in control of your life. I feel with these changes that you're going through and that you're doing and that you should continue to do, that you will have more control over your life. Just don't listen to or believe that person that you know is lying. Let them continue to lie on you or lie about you or lie, 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 lie. Remember that people do things because it's a reflection of them, not necessarily a reflection of you. So if somebody want to go out and put rumors out on you and Tony and Brenda and all that, let them do that because that just shows their character, okay? So yes, with your outcome card as authority or the emperor, I feel that you, you will have control again of your life. I feel that when the tower moment comes and it ends this past emotional bond that you have, secrets will be revealed. You will see truth and the fortune will fold for you. You'll be able to have that independence you were seeking for and be able to move forward without a problem okay so let's see what the rebel oracle has to say for you guys moving forward for the week three cards here for our lovely leos three cards here for lovely leo for the week of march 29th to april 4th one more please because they wanted to get those two fast and together oh you guys got four let's see what we got it says fuck fair it will lie to your face. That person is trying to do that, I feel, with the mental conflicts. Trying to get you in your head and make you feel some kind of way. Fuck them and fuck that thought. You are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. So yeah, continue to stand in your power. What you are doing is meant for you. You are going about 
things correctly as you should for yourself. Like, money, 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 money. Make it rain. Focus on your coin, Leo. And I know that's your boss. Like, you're a boss, too. Like, you like to boss up and do your thing. You love, you love and crave your independence. Like, come on, Leo. Y'all lions. Y'all rule over the whole freaking jungle. Like, you like being in charge of your kingdom, you know? And then it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. And I feel that has a lot to do with, you know, the tower moment that's going to probably come up. That's going to give you back this control. Like right now, it is probably dark. But I do see that things are coming to light. And they're probably going to come fast as hell with the tower moment. That's going to allow you to finally separate yourself completely from the emotional ties that you have with the past. Again, feeling like it's karmic with this Wheel of Fortune sitting out here as the last card underneath the deck. So... Ask a fucking expert. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. So in other words, go talk to your friends, you know. Um, you'd be surprised. Your friends go through a lot of things that we don't always discuss, you know, that we don't tell you guys, you know. You'd be surprised what another person can help you out with what your situation if you just begin to talk, you know. You might have some worse for them. They might have worse for you. But either way, maybe you just need to get out, okay. Get out and go do something, Stop dealing with this situation. Go out and enjoy that new Ace of Cups that you got sitting there waiting for you. Be back in control of yourself. So, thank you for joining me. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos on my channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.